Welcome back to my channel, guys. Pop OS 24.04 LTS is the latest installment of Pop OS featuring the new Cosmic Desktop. It is the new desktop environment for Pop OS replacing GNOME, and it is built from scratch. First, downloading the ISO. Heading over to the System76 website, there are multiple ISOs. I'm grabbing the ISO with NVIDIA drivers pre-installed. I'm using Belena Etcher to flash the image, or you can use Rufus. Once that's done, we plug it in and boot into the BIOS. At the boot splash screen, we enter the boot menu according to our motherboard. Now, here is the installer. We select English, verify our keyboard layout, and go for a clean install. We have drive encryption in this installer. It prompts you right out of the gate. No digging through advanced settings. Security is the default here. We set the password, create our user account, and let it install. We reboot, and here we go. The first boot. We get a welcome tour. We set up our dock preference, appearance, and connectivity immediately. This is a nice polish that makes the system feel premium. And we are in the Cosmic Desktop. So, if you're coming from GNOME, this feels familiar, but different. The Cosmic Desktop is written in Rust, which provides memory safety and performance. There is zero lag when opening the launcher or switching workspaces, which is awesome. And you know what's zero lag? The subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, please. It helps me a lot. Thank you, and let's continue with the video. Let's take a look at the pre-installed apps. We have a new file manager. This is Cosmic Files. It's lightweight and integrates perfectly with the system theme. And a new terminal. This is a GPU accelerated terminal. It handles heavy output instantly and is fully customizable via the settings. Let's run a few commands here just to check the responsiveness. There is little latency here. And we are running Wayland by default now. And System76's compositor is doing a fantastic job. The Cosmic Desktop is one of the most customizable desktops out there, rivaling KDE and others, making it a viable option for Linux users, beginners, and pros alike. If we head into the new settings panel, the desktop section feels all around complete and has most of the things you need. In the appearance section, we can toggle between light and dark mode, but we can also change the accent color for the entire system with one click. It applies to window borders, highlights, everything. And for the layout, we can adjust the active window hint size and my personal favorite, the gaps. We can increase the gap size between tiled windows natively. No config files, just a slider. The panel and dock are fully modular. We can have the panel floating or extended to the screen edges. We can move the dock to the left, right, or make it a window-style single bottom bar. You truly are in control of the layout. Let's look at the About section to wrap this up. We are running the 6.17 kernel, giving us the latest hardware support for 2025. We have the Cosmic Desktop on Wayland, and despite being an alpha slash beta for so long, this stable release feels solid. Even the lock screen and login manager have been rewritten. It's cohesive, it's fast, and it's beautiful. In the end, the Cosmic Desktop in Pop! OS is a great addition to the Linux ecosystem. It brings the power of a tiling window manager with the ease of use of a full desktop environment. If you want, you can download it now and see if it's your cup of tea. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.